Hello everyone and I welcome all of you to online study for you one step solution for all your placement needs friends in our today's session we are going to learn few of the very important and basics linux or unix commands which are very very important for all kind of job nowadays so friends every company is nowadays looking for basic knowledge of linux or unix commands so friends we have a linux machine here and now our first basic command is nothing but pwd so what it does so friends it will tell you in which path you are okay so pwd is nothing but it will show you which path you are and friends we have a command ls minus ltrh okay so it will show you what all files or directories are there inside root so we are in path root right so we are our path is what slash root and inside root we have these are the directories so friends you can see the color so we have blue color so it is directories and we can see we have white color that is nothing but our files so and friends if you want to clear the screen then we have a command clear so once you will run the command clear then your screen will get clear right okay so again we can see our path is nothing but friends root and friends if you want to see the content which is nothing but ltrh right okay so inside that we have directories so if you want you can go inside a directory so for going inside a directory we have to use the command cd cd and then the directory name so the cd and then the directory name then you will be able to go inside the directory and again if you do ls minus ltrh you will be able to see what exactly is inside the directory again friends you can see inside this goland projects we have one more directory microservices right okay so you can see this is in blue color so this is in directory so again you can go inside the directory so for going inside the directory you have to use cd and then the directory name so it will be cd microservice okay then again if you want to see what is inside this so inside this there are so many directories are there now friends so where where are you now so you can write pwd so you can type pwd so now you are root goland projects and microservices so you are in this path right now okay so friends if you want to go one path back then what you have to do cd and then after that a space two dots so cd space two dots then you will be able to go back to one directory so you will be able to go back to the previous directory so right now we are in we were in microservices when we put cd space dot dot then we went into the previous directory now if you put cd dot dot then what will happen then friends command do not found so this you have to keep that in mind friends so it is cd space dot dot so again if i will put cd space dot dot where we will go can you tell me yes friends so we will go to the previous directory right now we are in go land projects so if i will type cd space dot dot then we will be get we will be going into the root directory okay now we can see so where we are now so pwd it will show you the path so right now we are in the root directory okay now friends i will tell you what all we learn till now so pwd it will tell you which directory you are in okay so it will tell you the path now if we'll do ls minus ltrh then it will tell you what are the directories and files inside that and if you'll if you'll go to one of the directory so this time i am going to different directory so we have to use cd cd sdk so i will be inside sdk now so if you'll see pwd okay so we are in this path and if you'll see inside the files it is nothing but we have one more directory now if you want to go into the previous directory then cd dot dot so again we came to the root directory and now if we'll put clear then it will clear the screen now what is the time and date now friends so the, for that we have date command so right now we have you know the time is uh, 16 10 so it is not sync difference so you can see the different time now okay and the date is 25th of august and day is tuesday so it will give you the complete information so date will give you the complete information okay now friends if you want to create a directory then 
you have to use the command mkdir so mkdir so we are going to create a directory in the root right so mkdir i will create online study for you so online study for you so i created one of the directory right okay now this directory will be inside root so if i do ls minus ltrh then we will be able to see one directory which we have created it right okay so if you want to go inside the directory then cd and directory name and ls minus ltr okay now so there is nothing inside that now i want to keep one text file inside that so friends i can use vi so vi and i will abc.txt so vi abcd.txt so we are going to create one text file inside the folder online study for you now so friends in the text file we are going to write something so i will press i here so that it will i means insert so i pressed i here so i means insert now so this is very cool this is very cool and now i will save it so click on escape and then we can save it so for saving we have to use colon wq and exclamatory sign now we will be able to save it now if i will see the content inside the online study for you then i have a text file abc.txt and if i want to view this file what is the content then vi abc.txt so this is very cool so this is a content inside that okay i will tell you what all we did so clear so friends we created one directory now you can also create one more directory so let me go back to the root folder right so pwd right now we are in the root directory now i am going to create one directory which is nothing but a student so make directory a student now we have a directory which is nothing but a student okay now inside that a student i am going to create one text file so students are very good so good dot txt inside that i will press i i means insert now i can insert so a student are good a student are good okay now i will save it so colon wq exclamatory sign okay now so i have already saved it so inside the student i have a file now good dot txt and friends so here you can see uh, there are some R W R so read write so these are the permission friends which we will talk about later in the upcoming videos in the second videos if you like the videos please comment below then we will talk about this read write permission okay and this is a uh, root and root so friends this is nothing but honor so if we will discuss everything in detail friends this is a very much basic video so this is uh, nothing but memory block so friends this is the file permission so what permission you are giving you can set this permission for this file so here read write read read so this we will talk in details this is nothing but the memory okay this is not the memory uh, the file which taking it okay the memory block address basically and this is nothing but friends honor so honor is nothing but root and this is nothing but friends group okay and this is nothing but the size of the file and this is your date and time and this is basically your file friends you can change the permission of the file so that we will be seeing in the next video but i will just show you so ch mod 777 okay triple seven means i am giving the full permission to the file and after that you can see the d write permission will change and this file will be having all the permissions so you can see so here we had less permission and here we have the read write execute all permissions we have given it right okay so this is a, your memory block address this is nothing but honor group and then memory of the file i mean size of the file and then we have the date and the time okay and see after giving all the permission the color of the the color of the file will also change okay so friends now we are where where we are now so pwd under root and a student now friends what i am going to do so i am going one directory back okay so previous directory so cd space dot dot okay now i want to delete this directory so friends what i can use rm minus rf okay and then the rm minus rf and then the directory name so it will remove the directory now you can go back and see so we do not have the 
directory here okay so we do not have the directory student here right so we have already deleted it even we can delete the file also so we can go inside this directory okay and inside this we have a file abc.txt so again i can use rm minus rf and then abc.txt now i can see the file will not be there right so inside that this file is not there so friends today we will talk at the very basic level of the commands and next time i will tell you so friends how to i mean different different commands how it will matter okay so clear now so friends if you want to see even the hidden files okay see right now you see ls minus ltrh so you can see this many files now if you want to see the hidden file then ls minus a so you count the number of files so we have 3 and 3 6 and plus 4 10 plus 2 12 ls minus a so we can see how many files we have so even we have the hidden files also available here so 3 plus 5 8 9 and see 12 and there are many other files are also there right okay now friends so the other things which i will show you how to rename the files so again what i will do i will go inside this so ls minus ltrh okay and then cd online study for you and again i will create one file here friends for creating a file there is one more command cat file okay so cat file one or i can write cat student one okay and then i will write inside this directly so this is very easy this is very easy okay and then control d so you will come out from that now you can see you have created a file now you can see oh, okay so now you can see you have created a file which is nothing but a student one so there are two ways either you do vi and then that a particular name dot txt or you can directly cat so what will happen friends you will be directly able to write no need of using uh, colon w q exclamatory sign so already the file is here and if you want to see the content of the file then cat and that file name so this is very easy okay so you can do the cat and then the file name friends each and everything whatever we are discussing today it will be discussed in very much detail today this is just to get you familiar okay these are the commands now so where we are we are in root online study for you now i will clear it now we can see okay so we have a file a student one now i want to rename it so friends it is not like we will do the right click and then we will rename the file okay so this is the linux machine we cannot do it in windows we do like that so what we do we rename it so for renaming we will be using mv okay so mv mv and the file name so the file name is what a student and what you wanted to change so you wanted to change the file name you wanted to rename to all student i'm sorry okay so all student so i wanted to change the file name to uh i wanted to rename it to all student that's all so student move and then your file name and you want to rename it to all student that's all now you use ls minus ltrh you can see the student one is no more existing you have renamed it to all underscore student now friends we will see how to rename the directory name so friends what i will do cd dot dot then we will go to the previous directory so ls minus ltrh now friends we have a directory and i want to rename it so again mv directory name and you wanted to change to this directory name online study for you underscore new now you can see your directory has been renamed it okay so online study for you underscore new friends if you want to remove this directory then you can directly remove this directory rm minus rf and then this command so you can see the directory will be missing from there right so whatever was the existing file and uh, the directories we have come back to the same place so friends for today we will stop till here if you really like this video please comment below then in the next video we will see each and everything one by one and then we will try to learn we will dig inside so friends if you have a linux machine then you can practice and keep these commands in your mind so today very basic basic things we have learned thank you friends